Today we're going to take a look at some geometry definitions and their symbols. Points, lines, and planes are undefined terms, but are used to define other terms in geometry. We can describe the three terms, but we cannot define them. So here's a description of the three terms listed above. A point is a location, but it has no size. A line consists of an infinite number of points. It extends infinitely in either direction, but it has no width. And a plane will extend infinitely in the two dimensions. Now, it might sound like I just defined these three terms. I've described them, but the reason why they're considered undefined is because they truly have no size. They have no dimension. We will use these three terms to define some other basic terms on the next few slides. The first term you should be familiar with is a line segment. A line segment is a part of a line, my undefined term, with two endpoints. Here's an example of a line segment. Symbolically, you can represent a line segment by something like this. A line segment is named by its starting point and its end point and the segment symbol on top of it. The second term you should be familiar with is an angle. An angle is a geometric figure formed by two lines, my undefined terms, that begin at a common point, another undefined term. Notice we're using these undefined terms, putting them together and coming up with many of the geometry basic shapes that you should be familiar with. Here's a picture of an angle. So my two lines that begin at this common endpoint, right here in this picture. An angle can be named three different ways. So here's an example. I think, personally, the easiest way to name an angle is just based on its vertex, its common endpoint. So right here, the common endpoint, the common point is B. I would name this angle, angle B. You can also name an angle by using three letters. Notice that the B is sandwiched in between on the two longer ways, and you could either say A, B, and then C, or C, B, and then A. So three different ways to name an angle, but no matter which way you choose to name it, all will include the angle symbol. Another geometry basic would be the circle. The definition of a circle is a set of all points that are the same distance from a fixed point. Here's an example of a circle. Notice in this circle, the center is called C. Circles are named based on their center. So you could either name a circle as circle C with words, or symbolically, you could draw this little symbol right here, which is the symbol for circle, and then the name of the center. So you could have circle B if your center was point B, circle D if your center was uh, point D, and so on. This is just a look at some of the basics that you'll find. There's many more that you'll encounter in this module. If you still need help, please refer back to the lessons or any of the additional videos found on the home page.